One of the biggest problems you might see with your squash plant in the summer are squash vine borers, causing it to wilt and die just as it's reaching productivity. If you look close at the plant, what you'll see along the stem is kind of a brown area, sometimes holes where the caterpillars have actually bored into the stalk of the plant and are chewing their way up the plant and depriving the plant of water and nutrients, causing the wilting and ultimate death. A squash vine borer is actually a moth that lays eggs on the very base of a squash plant near the soil, usually starting sometime in late May to early June into mid-June for northern parts of Kansas. The best way to prevent uh, squash vine borer damage is to, number one, be watching for the moths flying around. They're kind of a black and red ugly moth that you might see near your squash plants. You want to scout around the base of your plants and look for squash vine borer eggs, which are kind of tiny, dull reddish brown ovals on the base of your plant, usually near the soil level. Then, once you've seen those two signs, you're going to want to use some sort of insecticide or a barrier to prevent either the caterpillars from boring into the plant or to prevent the moths from laying eggs on the plant. When you look at insecticides, you can use insecticides like permethrin or esfenvalerate. Uh, both of those are quite effective. Rotenone as an organic option may be effective. And you want to make sure that you spray the base of the plant, especially the, the stalks and vines, thoroughly every seven to 10 days while the squash vine borers are around and laying eggs. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.